Hey, second grade. So today we are going over lesson 117, and that is we can identify a function rule. So these two things that we see here are called function charts. It doesn't matter what letter or is at the top of the chart as long as they're different on each side. So we're going to start with this function chart right here. I am going to write one, two, two, four, three, six, and then I'm going to leave some blank. So our job is to figure out what the function rule is. How do I get from A to B? Well, let's think of all the ways that we can get from one to two. We can either add one, but does that rule work for every single one of these? Let's find out. Two plus one is three, doesn't equal four. So we have to figure out now a different rule that works for every single one of these numbers. So, how else can we get from 1 to 2? Well, we can multiply by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. That works. 2 times 2 is 4. That works. 3 times 2 is 6. So now that we know our function is a, whatever number is up here, times 2, we can figure out the rest of these by ourselves. So four times two, eight. Five times two is 10. Now let's say I were to give you some crazy number like 100 down here. I still know that my rule is the same. So a times two, which in this case it would be 100 times 2, B would equal 200. Easy peasy. Let's try a different one. I'm going to start out with 1 again. And it doesn't matter what number you start with in the first column either. So now I'm going to say 4. 2, I'm going to say 5. 3, I'm going to say 6. So if you notice, it goes 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6. So we know that each one of these are going up by 1. But how do I get from C to D? Well, I can multiply 1 times 4. 1 times 4 equals 4. Let's see if times 4 works for the rest of these. 2 times 4. Does 2 times 4 equal 5? It doesn't, it equals eight. So times four would not be my rule. How else can we get from one to four? Well, we know we're not gonna subtract or divide because it's not going down. So let's try adding. One plus three equals four, that works. So now I have to see if my function plus three works. Two plus three, what's that equal? 3 plus 3 equals 6. Now if I were to keep going, 4 plus 3 equals 7. So I know that my rule or my function rule is C plus 3. Whatever number in C plus 3 equals D. So if I gave you the number 135, that's a huge number, but you're gonna be able to tell what D equals because you know the function, C plus three. So in this case, it's 135 plus three equals 138. Sometimes you might have to go down, so the rule might be subtracting or dividing. On the slide that's right below me, I'm gonna put some more function tables for you guys to practice your rules. Go ahead and write your rule just like this below and tell me what you figure out your function is. If you need help, go ahead and rewatch this video or ask me any questions. Good luck.